And on the previous episode, we finished porting the head. This here is all done. Yup, it is be it's ready to be machined. So yup, so we took it up to the machine shop. Now we're gonna discuss about the Pro Two Cam, the Skunk Two Pro Two. How do you identify it? Yes, and of course we indeed had to check valve to valve clearances just to be sure we don't hit into a valve to valve contact and blow up the engine because there's gonna be an upgrade from box B. Yes, we talk about the minimum clearances that's needed. And of course, yes, we clay test the end, the head onto the block with the new cams. Yes, here it is. Now all the head is slapped on. The engine is almost ready. Yep, and here it is. Yep, we're gonna start it up. So let's go, let's go. First things first, as I always mention, here's our new Facebook page because my personal Facebook got hacked and I lost control of the old page. Here's the new one. Like and follow, link will be in the description below. We got to price this there. Yes, we do constantly post all the good stuff, including head porting prices there, intake manifold porting. Yes, and here you can see. And of course, as we posted this, this short RAM intake, it led to a good discussion on the comment section. Yep, and so it led to an intake test of starting stock air box short drive intake called their intake and then the that one has more comments about the fat boy intakes so we had to dial test that one too so that was fun so you gotta like and follow the page to see all the good discussions here we even post reels there doesn't make it to this channel of course if you don't have facebook here's my personal instagram i dedicated to srd motorsports so it's exclu exclusive for exclusively for srd motorsports so you can see here i post all the good stuff and for short form content we got our tiktok is quite active here here's my three guitar videos as i play guitar as many of you know yep we for good entertainment you can check that out okay now here the head here this is the last episode showed you that it's gonna go with pro 2 cams and super tech valve train we're gonna have the head machine then get all the seats ready Okay, before we fully assemble it, here it is. We're gonna check valve to valve. Uh, so we tested it out on, as it is under cam gears. Here it is. Yep. And now, going back to the thing, I made a post there earlier. Here it is, as you can check. I made a post about cam skunk to camshaft identification. Here it is. Wait, let's go down, scroll down, down, down. Where is it? Oh, there you go, all right? And then I made a post there that you can see here with a tuner stage and Pro 2. As you can see, Pro 2, the old etching is P2, P2 Plus, or P2V. The new marking for the Pro 2 is letter M. So it's just letter M. So if you're gonna buy secondhand cams, you gotta check this, it's really important. That we constantly post good stuff on the page. Here it is. As you can see, this is the old etching, so this is Gen 1 cam, so it's pretty good. Now here, we set the cam gear, the intake to zero, and then on the exhaust, just plus three. We're trying to see the closer um, lobe separation it has and see if it's gonna be dangerous on the valve to valve. As you can see here, zero and three, right? Yep, and we turned it, Let's check all the both lifts, and still far. This is a 0 0.040 amount on filler gauge and it's more than safe. You can go tighter, but 0 0.040 is safe. We got a video here. This was made three years ago on valve to valve clearancing. You gotta check it out. Link will be in the description below. Okay, now we go to clay test just to be sure we have a good safety window here. Now I put some clay there. Have my colleague gonna drop in the head. Yep. As you can see here, that's his phone. He's doing live. He does a bit of live stuff on his own channel. And his own channel is, you know, not in any way affiliated with SRD Motorsports, but you can check it out. It's not mechanics. He had to retype the title in eight days, but that's his channel. Link will be in the description, okay? Here's the clay. All right, we drop in the head, make a full turn, and here it is. This is an advanced three on the intake and advanced five on the exhaust just to be sure you know 
it's gonna hit on the intake but as you can see it looks like even on the advanced three intake we have plenty of room let me cut it with a cutter just to show you guys you know the actual thickness of the plate Put it out there you go all right sorry 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 there as you can see it's about more than one millimeter or more than 0 0.040 so that's pretty safe and pretty good on this angle here you can see so now we know up to plus three or advanced three on the intake is still safe but we're gonna start it with zero so it's gonna be good yes here in a video three years ago play testing you can check it out again link will be in the description below right and of course some of you would ask that we have a video of locking vtech it's going to be there too because you gotta lock vtech when you check valve to valve clay test and even degree all right now the head is slapped onto the block so already just more accessories like the intake the headers of course valve cover high tension wires distributor and vtech solenoid so it'll be all complete so my colleagues working on that bit by bit and the whole time he's doing this, his phone is on live on his YouTube channel. So you got to check it out. It's pretty interesting. You know, if you, like the, the nitty gritty work on stuff is going to be there. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now here it is. My colleague doing all the final checkups. Get the battery on so that we can start it up. Yep. We're going to start this. So, you know, it's checking all the possible leaks. If there's any leaks or from the fuel line or the coolant, just, you know, the normal checkups before you actually do a startup or the first startup of the car. So you have everything's looking good. The battery's uh, plugged in well now. It's all secure. Yep. Here we are, we're gonna check on it. Yeah, I did ask him to check the fuel line if there's random leaks when I put it in the ignition. There's no leaks. Oh, actually it looks like it needs a tune again. Oh, yep, you gotta step on the gas to keep it idle. So my colleague is gonna, you know, double check the coolant here. It's all good. Yep, it's still stepping on the gas. It's dying if you don't step on the gas. I'm gonna hold it here. Oh yeah! Yep, my colleague is asking how's the oil pressure, and yes, the oil pressure is a okay. It's all good. Yep, definitely is gonna be good. And actually, it sounds really good. It's it's quite normal that it's not holding its idle because it came from a blocks B to a Skunk Two Pro Two, and a different cylinder head that's ported. Both are ported, but they're both totally different, especially in compression. So yep, this is gonna be needing a tune, but now this is really good. We're talking about now we're talking about how the responsiveness it will be when we start tuning this the next day is gonna be fun, it's gonna be really good because especially the engine sounds totally different from when it had a blocks B and a different head. So this is gonna be really really fun. Yep, it's gonna be so good. We're gonna do some good runs street tune it see how it goes and then we will go from there like you know see all the other possible upgrades or changes that's needed because the engine now is a totally different animal with a pro 2 so that's really gonna be good yep this is a fun project nico is gonna have some good fun with this and yep here's the ek hatch yes and of course to, to see how this all started yes you can always click it over here